Hey everyone, welcome to the Main Street News. Today I picked up everything that's coming to the Disneyland Paris Resort in the coming years and compiled it all in one video. Let's get started. Oh boy! So, to better understand, I went ahead and created different categories. I want to be able to answer the questions what and when. So, the categories are 0 to 3 years. This is for projects that are well underway and are close to completion. Then we have 3 to 10 years. This one is for projects that have been announced but still haven't started. And lastly, 10 plus years. This is obviously the one for the projects that are still to be announced. Please note that most of the list is assumption, because we don't have the opening dates for most of the projects. And also, as further we move, the fewer the details we have on these projects. Without further ado, let's get started with 0 to 3 years. The first on the list is Avengers Campus. This project is near completion and will open in less than 2 months. It consists of two attractions, one that's brand new and one re-theme. Three restaurants, various meet and greets and live entertainment. I made a video where I get into detail about everything coming to this newish land. So make sure to check that out. This is also the first step in the revitalization of the Walt Disney Studios Park, which is a big chunk of our video today. A project that's often overlooked is the reconstruction of the hub that links the parks with Disney Village, the train station and the parking lot. For a lot of time the security checkup was done inside temporary tents, but no more. The new security gates are coming along and the new hub should be done sooner rather than later. This will be the second step in the revitalization of Walt Disney Studios and will be a portal to new worlds ready to be explored. This lake was planned to open in 2022, but due to a little something you might know as COVID, it was delayed. The 29,000 square meter body of water will completely change the way we look at studios and will help make it a full day park. While we don't know the opening date, assuming its construction is in full steam ahead, it could open in late 2023 or early 2024. Alongside the huge lake, a gorgeous promenade area will feature a 250-seat character dining restaurant and an outdoor family attraction that's still not revealed. This will bring an amazing atmosphere and a transition into the new areas of the park. Located straight away from the entrance of the park, Arendelle will be accessible via the lake we just talked about. When you arrive at the heart of the park, you'll be immersed in the same wintry atmosphere experienced during the movies. Elsa's ice castle, which will stand atop of a 40 meter high snow covered mountain, can be admired from afar. Many new experiences await you in this land including a new attraction that will take guests on a journey with the iconic Frozen characters. While we don't have all the details on the attraction, it is supposed to be an upgraded Frozen Ever After from Epcot. The village, with its Norwegian architecture, will be home to a shop and a restaurant that will serve meals with a Nordic touch. This land was firstly supposed to open on 2023, but now, that deadline seems pretty much impossible to reach. I would say that, again, if Disney goes full steam ahead, it could open in late 2024, maybe even in time for the Paris Olympics, that will happen in summer 2024. This may seem too optimistic, and you might be right. But now, with Avengers Campus complete, they should focus all their attention to Frozen. Yeah, I may be daydreaming with this one, 
but I believe that the temporary Star Wars overlay will soon come to an end. Let me explain. The original Space Mountain opened to the public in May 1995, so in 2025 it would be its 30th anniversary. Space Mountain wasn't just an attraction, it was the event that reportedly saved Euro Disney. Also, for a while, fans have been asking Disney to bring back the moon, so that they return it to its former self. On top of that, it's a cheap and easy way to please both the hardcore fans and the casual fans. And with a huge Star Wars land coming to Walt Disney Studios, it makes no sense to keep it as it is today. With that, we finish our first category. So let's jump into the second one, 3 to 10 years. Oh, also, Arendelle The World of Frozen might fall into this category. But let's be optimistic and hope that it doesn't. Announced alongside the huge expansion of the Walt Disney Studios Park in 2018, Star Wars Land would be a smaller clone of the lands with the same name in both the American parks. With the similarity in size and shape, it looks like the ride that would be brought to Europe would be Rise of the Resistance, the e-ticket of the US parks. Shops and restaurants would also be present in the land to offer you some otherworldly foods and products. Since 2018 we haven't received many updates about the land, but according to Disney, it's still happening. When it was first announced, it was supposed to open as the last step of the Walt Disney Studios Park revitalization plan in 2025. But now, with the lack of announcements and quietness on Disney's part, it looks like it won't be ready by then. With my Arendelle opening date, mid-2024 to early 2025, I don't see Galaxy's Edge opening in 2025, but rather 2026 or 27 if we're lucky. The shopping area of Disneyland Paris will be completely changed, bringing new experiences, shops and restaurants. Disney announced earlier this year that the project is finally set in motion and will begin this year. In 2023, the first piece will be complete, which is Rosalie, a new brasserie. When the transformation is complete, Disney Village will feature a relaxing lakeside boardwalk, enhanced pedestrian walkways, brand new facades, relaxing patios and lush landscaping. Its diverse eateries and collection of shops will expand dining and retail options for guests with innovative concepts from some of the world's most exciting brands for a completely enhanced experience complementing the theme parks. The Disneyland Park hasn't received a new ride since 2006 with Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast, which was a replacement. In the last half decade or so, Disneyland Park had a complete refurbishment and, ride by ride, it's now almost complete. So it's time to bring a new attraction to the park. Disney hasn't obviously announced anything, but I'm pretty sure that in 10 years, the park will have at least one new attraction. Now, what attraction? Well, that I don't know. Maybe a Splash Mountain of sorts. The park has huge expansion areas that have been there waiting since the opening of Euro Disney. With this, we finish our second category. So, let's jump into the third one. 10 plus years. Yes, I know what you're thinking, they just ended one huge expansion. Does it need another one? Yes. Yes it does. The expansion that's currently underway will enhance the park by a lot. But it's not the end. In more than 10 years the park will indeed get a new land. Or more. Of course, this is pure speculation, so we have no idea of what it could be. 
If we look at the overview of the works happening in the park, we see that the right side of the lake is left with lots of space for expansion. So that's where my money's at. We've arrived at the last one. First of all, I made a video with everything we already know about this project and how the history of the resort influences the reason why it absolutely needs to be built. Today, I will keep it short. So here we go. When Disney agreed to build their European resort in Paris, they made a legal agreement with the French government that, along with a lot of other stuff, states that if Disney doesn't utilize the area for the park within the agreement period of time by building a park, they lose that same area. This happened with Walt Disney Studios. So Disney was legally obliged to build the second park. And the same happens with the third one. So Disney was legally obliged to build the second park. And the same happens with the third one. The land where the park will be located is already chosen and can be seen in this document. We don't know what the theme for the park will be, so let's do this. Comment down below your idea for the third park. But when do they need to build this park? Well, they have until 2036 to make it into a reality. Do you know what's also a reality? The subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me if we could reach the goals I have for the channel. Make sure to comment if you have any question or just want to say something. I'll try my best to reply to everyone. So, as always, thank you for watching and that's a wrap.